Yeah, buying a van, man. Gotta buy a van. You know, I think... I have, I've come to some conclusions about my potential nomadic life for the future. And one of those conclusions is I do not want to be a permanent van dweller. I do not want to be somebody who permanently lives on the road. I don't want to live in an RV permanently. I don't want to live in a van. I don't want to live in a fifth wheel. I don't want to live on the road permanently. I like having a home base, okay? Now, does that mean I don't want to ever go anywhere in a vehicle? No, but it does mean, and it does, does that mean I don't want to ever go camping in a vehicle or go traveling in a vehicle or go potentially sometimes sleeping in a vehicle? No, that doesn't mean that. But it does mean that I don't want to have that as my permanent lifestyle, okay? I've just, that's what I've decided. I don't, you know, I, you know, I, I not, you know, hey, you know, I want to have a home base. I want to have an apartment. I want to have somewhere that, you know, I can hang my hat and call it wherever I, where's the song, wasn't there? Wherever I hang my hat, that's home. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I don't know. Uh, I enjoy watching Nomads. I really do. I like, I especially as I've said, I like to watch people that are living full time on the road and that are doing it solo. Okay. Uh, you know, the camping videos that people put up are fine. I sometimes like them, but that's not what floats my boat when I'm watching YouTube. I like to watch people that are living on the road permanently or more or less permanently and they're solo. Now they may have some dogs and cats and whatever, but I like to see that. I like to see that because I think that to me is uh, very uh, compelling. It's oddly compelling to me. It is. And, uh, but does that mean that I am aspiring to do that? No! You know, I like to see people doing crazy hikes. I like to see people parachuting out of airplanes. I like to see people doing undersea diving. But does that mean I want to do that too? No! 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 <laughs> Uh, what I like, what I like to see in Nomads, they're solo people, and I, I like to see how they're doing it as simply as possible, okay? That's what I like. They're living in a van, most likely. They uh, just have the minimal amount of stuff, and, and they travel, and they live like that. That, to me, is the ideal Nomad for me. Totally honest. You know, no bullshitting. No bu BSing. <laughs> there you go, McCabe's Tire and Service. That's where Little Adam is. Uh, that's Little Adam's Hospital. They've always done well. I've always done well by taking my car to them. That's right, Little Adam. Knock on, knock on the dashboard there. So anyway, yes. So that is that. Ooh, I like that shirt. That's a nice shirt. I don't know. I should get some of those uh, you know, sleeveless shirts. How would I look in a sleeveless shirt? I would look pretty good in a sleeveless shirt. I think I would look my... I've got good upper body muscles. I mean, I've got good arms. I should show my arms off. Maybe get a couple tats. If I get a tat, what kind of a tat should I get? I don't know. <laughs> my heart belongs to Doxinator. Come on, man. You can make that green light. Come on. I don't want to have to sit here for another whole cycle. Anyway. So, yeah, van. If I, you know, I am really, I am saving up for a van. And I want to get something that's economical. And I want to get something that's reliable, not something with a bad transmission, with, you know. But I do want to get a van. And then I want to have a minimum van build. Okay, literally minimum. A bed in the back, a fan, uh, maybe a jackery for some power uh, for the occasional night that I spend there. But it's not going to be a situation where I want to live in that van, okay? A bucket, sure. I, you know, bucket would probably be good. A bucket, a fan, a jackery, or some other just as good device like a Rock Pals eh, or a uh, black, black, uh, a Max Oak Blue Eddy thingy. The Max Oaks are actually pretty good. They're all made in the same Chinese factory, pro probably. But anyway. So yeah, I'd like to do that. They used to have uh, used vehicles out on this lot here, and they stopped doing that. 
I don't know. There used to be like, uh, remember that uh, that van I saw a while back? I wonder if they ever sold that. I don't know. So anyway, I would, you know, so it is a van, definitely. I do not want to get an RV. I have no interest in getting an RV. They're too big. They're too clunky. A van, I think, would be much better for, you know, you know, sketchy roads, okay? It has more of a car kind of suspension, easier to drive, easier to boondock. Oh my, you can boondock anywhere in a van, right? I mean, unless you're parked there for multiple nights, nobody's going to question a van in a parking space on a city street like over here, you know. Now, yeah, you got to be a little careful overnighting at some places, but, you know, hey, you know. So anyway, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, uh, they're redoing the court square here in Morganton. And this was supposed to be done by spring. And uh, you can see there is, a, they're quite a ways away from being done. So I think spring of next year, I think what they're shooting for. <laughs> I don't know, man. But a van for me. I think that, was, that is what I would be looking for. Something relatively inexpensive, but reliable, which is like, yeah. This is, I don't think, the best time to buy a vehicle. Everybody said that because uh, there, there was such demand after the pandemic for used and new vehicles, and prices are pretty high right now, that it's not a great time to buy. Uh, you know, Little Adam, this car, I wouldn't mind doing traveling in it. But I do not want to sleep in this car. It's just too hot and too stuffy and too small. You know, if I stayed in motels, hotels, something like that, that would be fine. Uh, couch surf. You know what I need to make? I need to make a list of people that offer to let me couch surf at their places. You know, I could put that together and then just couch surf. Day Camo Dave couch surfing from coast to coast. I think that would be a very good thing to do. Do you think, do you not think so? So van dwelling, yeah. I could do that on, on you know, multiple weeks and then come back to my beautiful apartment with air conditioning, a flush toilet, and a shower. A shower. Yeah. I don't know. I think that would be interesting. I don't know, but it, that's, that's what I'm looking at. You know, I've been doing some research about maybe getting out on the road, and it would definitely be in a van, a smallish van, or maybe, maybe even a, a, some sort of an SUV that you could somehow use the back to sleep in. That would also work. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a van. It could just be an SUV that you could, you know, that you would have enough room in the back to put like, a mattress out and, and lay flat back there. I think that would work too. So, I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at! Everybody took my parking place. I love that green Dodge Challenger there. Isn't that cool? That is really neat. Oh, man. Everybody's taking my parking place. Oh, no. I got my parking place. Oh, I got it. 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 Look at Mr. Rogers. I like that Kia Soul. Uh, little Adam likes the Kia Soul. They're buddies. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway. So anyway, that is it. That's my video today. A van for me, but I still got to figure out what kind of van I should get. I got a lot of recommendations, and I do thank you. Send me camodavidgmx.com, what recommendations on a good van to buy. And, uh, you know, I always enjoy that, but de definitely a van. Maybe an S a, a good size SUV, but I'm looking more at a van van, a vanny van. Anyway, so anybody got a good, if you live in this area, got a good, you know, really good van for a cheap price, let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. Camo Dave in the car talks, vlog under.